Hey, what's up guys? Missy Deer back again with another video, and today I am bringing you my personal review of the closed beta of X Defiant. Now, as a lifelong Call of Duty player, I was excited to see another arcade shooter trying to compete with Call of Duty. It has been way too long since we've had an actual competitor to Call of Duty. I'm not talking about Battlefield, I'm talking about a small scale multiplayer arcade shooter in the style of Call of Duty. We need competition in this space for Call of Duty to actually give a crap. And I haven't really played a Call of Duty since Cold War. I gave Modern Warfare 2 a shot and it really flopped for me. I stopped playing after like a month or two and it's just not fun. It does not encourage high skill gameplay in my opinion, but that's besides the point. And that's why I wanted to give X Defiant a true shot in the closed beta. Now, I didn't really know what to expect. I purposely kept myself in the dark with this game. All I knew is that it was a class-based shooter in an arcade shooter format like Call of Duty. Now, I think this game is fun. I just want to say that first and foremost. This was one of the most refreshing experiences I've had in a shooter since getting into Apex Legends around three years ago. And that is the primary game I play and what I've been playing for years because nothing has really pulled me away from it. Now, I think this is going to be an incredible main game or side game for me. This game has a ton of potential. So I'm gonna be getting into what I like about it as well as what I dislike about it and what I think can be improved upon and what I expect to be improved upon. Now, first and foremost, I like the gunplay. The guns feel different from one another. I like how they're simple and to the point where it's like the MP5 or it's just like straight to the point. It's not a weird fancy name. You know exactly what the gun is. And the guns are fun, rewarding, and satisfying, as well as their customization options. It tells you exactly what each attachment is changing with the weapon itself. So you don't have to do a bunch of guesswork or search up YouTube videos or stuff on Google to figure it out. You can do it right there, right in the menu, and you can customize your guns while you're in matches as well. It's fantastic. So I think they have a really great baseline of weapons, at least in the beta. I really do hope they have at least double or triple the amount of weapons upon release. But uh, the basis that they had in this, uh, this, uh, closed beta, I did not mind the weapons at all. I didn't really find any of the weapons to be not fun. I'm sure they need a little bit more balance. Some of them are way better than others, but I think it's a solid start. Now, the maps, they have so many maps in this closed beta. It blew me away. I was like, holy crap, this is what it is for a game to have a lot of maps because Call of Duty has not launched with great maps or a lot of them. And honestly, I cannot think of one map in this game that I truly disliked. And when it came up, I was just like, oh my gosh, I'm leaving the lobby. I'm not gonna play this. There were times where I'm like, oh, that's not one of my favorites, but I would stick it out because none of the maps in this game are honestly that bad. They're all really good. They're really colorful too. It was so refreshing to just have all these maps with very bright locations and like colorful and there's really good, um, points on the map that you can do call outs on they're very distinctive from one another and they're fun to play on I, it honestly blew me away how good these maps are they're more of a three lane style unlike a lot of the most recent call of duty maps in the newest games which i really do enjoy it's an arcade shooter it should be more simple to the core but they're not too simple to the point where they're boring to play on so it has that perfect mixture of simplicity while also not being too simple if that makes sense so that was another high Highlight for me the no skill based matchmaking I did not know how to feel because it's been so long since I've played a multiplayer game without skill based matchmaking and holy crap I felt like I was playing black ops 2 again I, I, I just could not believe how much I was enjoying myself because it's great one lobby you might get your ass handed to you but you don't feel like everyone in the lobby is way better than you like there may be a couple people on the other team that will just absolutely obliterate you but you know you can at least kill the other people on the other team that aren't as good as you so it feels like such a great and random mixture and if one lobby is really bad you're not 
dreading the next one, you know there's always a chance that you're gonna be able to pop off, which is just such a weird feeling and a weird thing to say, but it's something I just haven't had in a long time. And I felt like I was bl playing Black Ops 2 again, and it made me want to play longer and more. It felt so addicting to not have to sweat my ass off every single game, especially coming from Apex Legends where pubs are way more sweaty than ranked. Like ranked is so much easier. So it's just such a weird change for me, but it was such a good change. I really hope people support the no SPMM in this game so other games can tout it as a selling point for their games. And hopefully skill-based matchmaking won't have to be in pubs like it is in every game nowadays. Huge plus. And I wasn't expecting that to be as big of a plus as it is for me. Uh, I was expecting it to kind of flop still for me and I didn't expect it to make that much of a difference, but it truly did. Now, I do like the character classes on offer here. I think it's cool how it alludes to other Ubisoft games. And the classes do have distinct abilities. Uh, and I'll get into the classes a bit more later in the negative aspects of this game. But I ended up really enjoying trying out all the classes. I think they all are very distinct. They all have their own pros and cons and unique play styles. And that's about it. So I, I think they need some tweaking. I think some classes are better than others. But they were fun. And I did find classes that would fit my play style. And I also was quite surprised with which classes I actually enjoyed playing over others. So that's really good. It really felt fun to just experiment and play around with the abilities. I do like the create a class features with the abilities and the classes themselves too. And that was about it. Those are all the positives. I, I really like the movement too. Now I'm not a cracked out movement player, but I'm also not a complete bot with my movement. I've got the, the classic slides down, the jump corners down and stuff like that. And I've seen people on Twitter with clips that are just cracked out with their movement. So obviously you can learn some crazy movement in this game. And that's what's exciting coming from Apex because I'm slowly mastering movement in Apex and it's been really fun for me. And now it's exciting to have another movement mechanic to experiment with and get better with and that's huge i love the fact that there's a skill ceiling with the movement and i think even if you don't have cracked out movement in this game you can excel because of the class-based systems and the weapon variety and all of that so that's great now on to the negatives now the negatives the classes are not uh balanced whatsoever uh, in my opinion, some classes are just blatantly better than others, and it feels really worthless to use some of these classes, especially the Watchdogs class. I don't know what they call them. Uh, that feels super worthless, except for in Ranked, because their tact one of their tactical abilities that you can equip, it's only useful in Ranked, in my opinion, and it's pretty much useless in other ways. So I think classes need a, a huge balance change. The healer was insane. It's impossible to 1v1 a great healer in this game. And the healer felt like the most aggressive sweaty class, which is so weird because technically it should be a support. So that was kind of a bummer. So the classes need more balance changes and some of them might need even reworks with their certain tacticals or their ultras, which is their ultimate in this game. So that definitely needs some tweaking. And the servers were awful, or the latency, or whatever you want to call it. I was constantly dying around corners. I was getting ghost hit markers where I'm shooting directly at them, but I'm not doing any damage whatsoever, which was super frustrating. It felt like just luck of the draw every single match, whether I was going to have a great connection or not. And I have great internet too. So it's definitely Ubisoft's issues. And I've heard this is a very, uh, very common problem with their multiplayer offerings is that the latency and the connection issues are huge and that's unfortunate in an arcade shooter like this where split seconds will determine whether you die or not and it was just so so weird to make it safely into cover but still get shot through that cover it was very frustrating i think that was the biggest negative for me out of this entire game was the server issues now they have stated and addressed this issue and said that they have a, an entirely new build which has way better connection and this shouldn't be an issue anymore. So we'll see uh, upon official release if that's true or not. I really hope it's true because if these connection issues continue, that will single-handedly be the death of this game. But those were the only negatives that I really had. This is an amazing game. It's an amazing potential. It has amazing potential from what I've seen so far, and I'm excited for the official release. And I'm honestly missing it already that the beta is done. So. Feel free to leave a like, pop a sub, comment if this helped you out in any way. Thanks for watching to the end of the video and take it easy.